Well, dear friends, the moment has finally arrived. After what seems like an eternity of speculation, Nintendo has finally acknowledged the successor to the Nintendo Switch through a tweet that came absolutely out of nowhere. It seems we can finally rejoice. It's happening. After so many rumors, theories, and supposed leaks, Nintendo has finally confirmed the age-old question. Where is the Switch 2? Now anyone who's been following the Nintendo fanbase recently can say that the biggest topic of conversation there has been Nintendo's next console, something that I've even talked about a few times myself. The Switch recently turned 7 years old, already having a longer lifespan than most consoles, so I feel like it's only natural that people start talking about what's next. And the timeline given by this tweet is especially interesting, because given the current fiscal year, just the announcement of this new console could be happening as late as March 2025, and if it's really that far off and they're acknowledging it now, it really does seem like they're saying, Yes, it's happening, now can you please shut up? So at long last, we got him. Nintendo has finally acknowledged that they're working on a new console. But there's more to this tweet, and it's the second half that I find really interesting. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. This sentence is interesting for a couple of reasons. One is that Nintendo never announces a Direct this far in advance. We're usually only given a couple days notice before the release of a Direct, so why are they letting us know a month ahead of time? Well, I think a likely reason is to quiet the speculators even more. If they were to make an announcement about their next console, and then a month later announce a Direct, fans would obviously believe that the Direct would contain the next console announcement, and it's pretty clear that isn't what Nintendo wants, so they're just letting us know ahead of time as to not flood the internet with theories and questions leading up to the Direct's release. But with that in mind, what would this Direct even have? I've already discussed this multiple times, but the Switch is at the point where there's really no reason to release anything major, with most of the recent major Switch releases being remakes. It seemed like Side Order and Princess Peach Showtime would be the last major releases of all new content, but if Nintendo still has an entire Direct's worth of content to announce, will it be anything major, or just another compilation of remakes? I honestly think the latter is more likely, as they haven't announced many major releases in recent months, and the fact that we now have confirmation that a new console is coming just decreases the reason for new major Switch releases even further. But hey, Nintendo is a company full of surprises, so I wouldn't say anything is set in stone. The one thing we do know for sure is that the Switch's twilight has officially begun. And while Nintendo has kept the speculators and theorists at bay for now, I think it's safe to say that in a few months, they'll be back and louder than ever. Everyone get ready, because pretty soon, we're gonna enter a whole new era.